Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota and we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is this, uh, the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. We'll get into more about that a little later, but here for today, we happen to have a ZTE Sonata 3, is what this phone is called. And as we can see here, this device does have the Google Account Lock enabled because it's asking for the previous Google account there on the device while we're going through the setup wizard. This specific device is a phone that is sold by Cricut here in the US with the model number Z832. Cricket's a prepaid provider that runs on AT&T's network. We're making this video though to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to remove the lock from the phone, and that's actually exactly what we're gonna do right here, right now, while it's plugged in. A little bit more about the Google Lock feature, for those of you who might not be familiar, it's something that Google added back in Android 5 as a security measure to kind of help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens all the time these days when it comes to mobile devices. So basically, when an Android device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask for that account again as a security measure after the device is reset, just like what we saw on the screen there. So we've had tons of customers contact us asking for help with their device, either because they got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember their information or couldn't reset their password. Or, unfortunately, there's also a lot of dishonest sellers out there these days who will sell a used phone without informing the buyer that the lock is enabled. Then the buyer is unable to use the device because it asks for that account and obviously they don't have the login information. This is something though that we are doing right here on this device. So the program has just finished wrapping up and we should be able to see now after it restarts that we can get all the way through the setup wizard without seeing that lock. So just give it a second here to finish that up. And there we have the Cricut logo showing. And another second and it should be at the welcome page. There we go. So we're going to start going through the setup process here just like we would have before. And we're just going to skip that. And we're going to skip that. Skip through Wi-Fi. Ask us for our name. We can skip that. We can skip that. Just skipping through everything here. Okay, skip through the Google stuff. We don't need anything about Cricket Wi-Fi Manager, so we can skip that. Okay, and there we go. We've now got to the home screen, and the device is now fully open, and we have access to all the features and functions. I'll just go ahead and jump into the settings here real quick just to show you again what we're working with. So again, that model number there comes up as the Z832, and then as we saw on the phone screen, it's called the Sonata 3, and that's from Cricket here in the U.S. So if you have a ZTE Sonata 3 and would like to get the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide here at the end of the video that has all the information there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to click that subscribe button while you're there also, and you'll be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.